In this video, we've rounded up the top 10 best indoor plants in our opinion. Since indoor conditions in most cases are predictable and similar to each other, even in different parts of our planet, the care conditions will be the same for all plants from our list. Here are the most basic things to know. Transplanting the plant once every two years. Soil – ready-made mixtures for decorative deciduous plants. In most cases, soil mixture for succulent plants will work great. Optimal lighting is direct sunlight. From May to August, or when the air temperature is over plus 30 degrees Celsius, in the period from 11 am to 5 pm, shading is necessary, scattering about 40% of the light. Acceptable lighting is bright diffused sunlight or partial shade. In case of insufficient illumination, the plants stretch out, the variegated varieties lose their color, and the leaves become the usual green color. Watering frequency after the soil surface in the pot is dry. Feeding is carried out only during the growing period. The frequency of feeding is once a month. Now let's take a look at the top 10 indoor plants. Sansevieria The plant easily adapts to any conditions. Sansevieria does not tolerate only water lodging of the soil. At temperatures below plus 18 degrees Celsius, do not water the plant. It does not need spraying also. The plant is not poisonous. This is just the case when you can buy such a plant and not regret it. Cactus Cacti are the most unpretentious of all plants growing in our homes. The following statement fits them perfectly. They do not live long, they die slowly. Do not water the cacti between November and March. And if at this time the plant gives out symptoms of extreme dehydration or wrinkling of a cactus body, then you can water it once a month, partially wetting the soil in the pot. The main thing when transplanting cacti is not to plant a cactus in a pot that is too bulky. Each subsequent size can be 10 to 15% larger than the previous one. In conditions of insufficient illumination, the cactus does not bloom, does not develop and is in a state of stagnation. In this state, it can be kept for up to 7 or 8 months. Further, if the care conditions do not improve, the plant dies. In extremely poor conditions, the cactus is used as a long-standing bouquet. Aloe Aloe is a common and widely cultivated houseplant. These plants are hardy, well propagated, and their juice has a disinfecting effect. In a sense, a generally recognized home doctor. The most unpretentious plant varieties are with a green color. The most capricious varieties of aloe are with a reddish color of leaves. Aloe does not tolerate stagnant water in the palate. Dracaena Unpretentious plant. Grows well in sunny windows. Plants with monochromatic leaves even tolerate shade well. In the summer afternoon, it is better to shade the plants. In the warm season, it is useful to take the Dracaena outdoors. When the temperature drops below plus 16 degrees Celsius, watering is stopped. The most common problems. Due to the low humidity in the apartments, the tips of the leaves dry out. With the help of clerical scissors, the dry part of the leaf is easily removed, while the part of the leaf and tissue is also removed, so that the leaf retains a sharp tip. Due to insufficient elimination, the shoots are greatly lengthened and bent. In April, the shoots can be shortened to the desired size with a knife. Yucca Caring for yucca is completely identical to caring for Dracaena. Yucca does not tolerate unexpected temperature drops below plus 5 degrees Celsius. Ficus the most unpretentious are large-leaved varieties of ficus, with green leaves. 
The plant tolerates pruning for rejuvenation without any problems. Crown formation is the main way to maintain the decorative effect of ficus for many years. Try to restrain the growth of shoots upward, remembering that ficus can reach a height of 30 to 40 meters in nature. To make the crown symmetrical, do not forget to turn the ficus towards the light source, with the side that did not grow enough. Varieties of Ficus benjamin, which have a variegated color, are not suitable for growing in conditions of insufficient illumination and cool rooms below plus 18 degrees Celsius. Ficus juice, when it comes into contact with the skin, can cause a burning. Cycas. During the autumn-winter period, the cycas loses its foliage partially or completely. This comes from a lack of lighting in the apartment. If the cycas has a healthy stem or codex, then during the spring-summer period, the leaves are restored. Place the plant in the lightest spot in the room. The minimum average temperature is plus 15 degrees Celsius. Croton. Croton is a fast-growing plant. It is desirable to feed the plant regularly. With insufficient illumination, the palette of colors decreases, the predominant color becomes green. The plant absolutely does not tolerate drafts, so it should not be placed in the path of cold air from the air conditioner. The juice of the plant is also toxic. When it comes into contact with the skin, it causes a burning sensation. Philodendron Philodendron is a slow-growing climbing plant. Philodendron needs some sort of supports, wrapped in moss. Air roots can easily catch onto them. They will receive food and moisture from them. To make philodendron look more magnificent, in spring you need to pinch its tops. Prolonged maintains at temperatures below plus 12 degrees Celsius and direct sunlight in the midday hours from May to September is highly undesirable. Monstera Caring for the Monstera is the same as for Philodendron. If the plant is kept in good conditions and gives more than two leaves of growth per year, then every spring we transplant the Monstera into a larger pot. If there is no growth during the year, in the spring we change only the top layer of the soil in the pot. This is where our list ends. You can write in the comments section which plant you consider the most unpretentious for indoor conditions and why. Perhaps you will help someone with the choice. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and put your thumbs up under this video if you liked it. I wish you the best of luck and see you in the next episode.